So this is a body of work. Uh, I'm really bad at pronouncing French, but it's called uh, Tromploi, and it's all about tricking the eye. Um, so there's six images in total. You're going to see five. And uh, these are all photographs that I took in older Toronto homes. And uh, what I did was I actually took really boring photographs of just uh, sort of um, stuck fixtures in uh, houses, so like toilets and cupboards, so things that, you know, you can change, but they require a lot of renovation. Uh, so what I ended up doing, so I took these like straightforward, really boring pictures, and I thought that um, I would, you know, play it up a lot more and speak to the idea about the home. So what you'll s what you actually see in the middle, it, they are uh, origami houses. So you actually see the roofs of these houses that I physically have made out of photographs. So to make each photograph, it actually takes uh, four photographs to make it in the end. So it's like kind of talking about photography, how it's like really multi-layered, and you're starting with a three-dimensional object, but it becomes a two-dimensional object. Um, this is the only one where you actually see the bottom, so you actually see the folds um, and like sort of the tip of the roof, and um, yeah, they're really pretty. And uh, sort of this is what kickstart me, kickstarted me into making like serious artwork and thinking about it a lot more, uh, reading like you know really intense papers and really not understanding half of them, and <laughs> having to read them like five times to try to figure out what they mean, and like basically the whole thing ends up being highlighted in the end. Um, so yeah, so yeah, this is sort of what started me with the idea of illusions and fantasy and sort of like the unbiased, biased truth that photography um, does. So this is um, a new-ish uh, body of work that I made for my thesis uh, my last year at OCAD, and it's another French title, and it's called um, Mis en Abime, which means placing into infinity, or um, basically it's when you see a mirror, it's like when you're in an elevator and there's like a mirror on one side, there's a mirror on the other side, and it's like an infinite amount of space that you can't really see the end, but you can. Um, so every single photograph you'll see here, they're all of mirrors that are not photoshopped. So, I mean, I have to photoshop a little bit, but like <laughs> the camera, <laughs> the camera, like I didn't photoshop the camera out of this, like this is like the one that first started the whole series. Um, so people are like, well, how did you do it? And it's just basically like the whole idea about smoke and mirrors. So it's literally like, all angles, um, so I'm just tricking the eye. Um, I became really obsessed with this one particular pyramid, and I actually uh, made it. Um, so there's no, you know, that's like that's just a dude, and he's holding it in front of his face, and that's it. So I also like the idea that these mirrors reflected the spaces that they were in, um, and they're really obscure. And these are my arms. Um, it's a really fun photographer's trick that uh, Velveteen uh, absorbs all light, so it becomes like a super matte black. So it's actually like a void that my arms are in, which is kind of awesome. Um, and I thought it was really funny because when they're a diptych like this, it actually looks like I'm in the middle, like doing this weird little dance. Um, so I really like sort of the humor in this one. Um, Ikea is really good for my mirrors because that's where I bought most of them except that wooden one and the one that I made. Um, and I returned pretty much most of them, so that was really good. So this is one that I bought. Um, this is my living room floor of a house I used to live in, and I was like, oh, this is pretty sweet, and then I sort of just tilted it, and that's how I got this image. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, this is another mirror from Ikea, and it's on a granite countertop. It's called Granite, and uh, it's reflecting the roof, so or, uh, the ceiling, so it's just plain white. Um, so a lot of the mirrors, they literally are just reflecting the spaces that are around them. And again, it's like I'm controlling the camera with my eye and you're seeing certain things um, that I want you to see. Um, here's the pyramid again. And I thought it was kind of interesting speaking to the, the laminate floor one. And this one, so this is plywood. But uh, plywood is like, you know, a man-made wood. And it's just like multi-layered. And laminate is also a photograph avoid so it's like all these dimensions again that I really 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 had to think about and it was like well I'm gonna be like tongue and cheeky and again the pyramid um, with the velveteen but this time at like a different angle so it actually the shape completely um, changes and it becomes like a super like infinite abyss of just just the edges um, and that's the last one for this one and I'm gonna just catch a breath okay um, so this is the uh, latest body of work that I made uh, last summer uh, in Syracuse. So I actually did a residency uh, for, um, uh, I just did a residency in Syracuse. I was invited to go and I lived in Syracuse for a month and a half. And uh, so it became like my, like it became my summer home. It was really lovely. And this is a, a bush that was across from my studio that I looked at every day. And I was like, what a lovely bush. Um, <laughs> it, I basically use Syracuse as like my home 
space to be like, okay, like I'm an alien, you know, I'm literally like not in my own country anymore. Um, I'm gonna just use the land and like figure out what can I make out of it. So basically this uh, work is called Of Other Spaces and it's based off of, um, I can't even remember, so, uh, some paper I read. And <laughs> um, it's really important, but I can't remember right now. Um, so this is in my studio that I got for my residency. That's really bad. Um, the mirror I actually found in the basement of the sort of building that I lived in. Um, this is sort of like work that's sort of transitional from my thesis work into this. So I'm still playing with the idea of mirrors, uh, surrounding spaces, and then sort of just using like what I have around me. So it's like all natural light. Um, and again, there's no Photoshop. When I was building the cube, I thought um, I only needed four pieces, but cubes are six-sided, and that's why you only see three, because it's only a three-sided cube. Uh, this is a ladder, it's kind of speaking to the idea of, uh, it's like, this is my studio, I'm finding objects using natural light again, um, it's a, the form, the triangle, like, obviously I'm super obsessed with it, and uh, it's just really pretty. Um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, and there's the cube again, but again, you don't know that's a three-sided cube because it's in the corner and it looks like so convincing that it's a full cube. And it's really nice, and it's just tucked away in there. Um, the space I was in uh, had no bathroom. The sink, we had to put a bucket underneath. Like, that was across from the thing. Like, it's, like, I make it look really nice. And I'm going to leave you with a self-portrait of my passport because I had to go across the border a lot when I was in Syracuse. And they didn't believe it was me. And there was also this man who uh, got detained. And that's why I thought it'd be kind of funny to show that, um, that they didn't actually think it was me. Because um, I kind of looked like this weird gremlin. And uh, I thought it'd be nice to show you. Thank you. 